What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you guys my investments and what I think is going to be going up in price when Counter-Strike 2 drops. I'm putting these skins in this video with an effort to bring spotlight to them to kind of show you guys why you should invest in these. I'm going to be showing you guys on-screen comparisons of what these skins look like in CS2 and CSGO so you guys kind of have an idea of where my mind's at when I'm making these investments. I'll also be including how much I spent on these skins and what the price of these skins are at the time of making this video. So let's get into it. First skin we got is the Desert Eagle Bronze Deco Factory New. This kind of just speaks for itself here. I paid three dollars and thirty-nine cents for this, but at the time of recording this, it is now worth three dollars and seventy-three cents. So people still obviously do not know about this skin. I think obviously it speaks for itself. It's definitely going to go up in price once people start catching on to this. Should be looking like some gold. Once people find out about this skin, I think it'll definitely go up in price. Here we have the 5.7 Copper Galaxy Factory New. I bought this for $13.63. At the time of making this, it is now worth $21.36. My prediction is this will definitely go up in price for obvious reasons. I bought the Dual Berettas Cobalt Quartz in Minimal Wear for $0.75. This skin looked pretty sweet in Counter-Strike Global Offensive, but with CS2, I mean, it just enhances it so much more. In a sense, it kind of has that Doppler pattern to it, which kind of just makes it look even better. I know they're only dual Berettas, but I mean, with a skin this nice, it's bound to go up in price at least just a little bit. Here we have the FAMAS Commemoration Field Tested. I bought this skin for $23.41. It's now worth $21.42. When you look at the Copper Galaxy, and then you look at this gun here that is actually gold, you can see that there's obviously a lighting error, and Valve has said that they are going to be fixing and tweaking some of the skins. So I think this one's definitely good to hold on to for the long haul. Once Valve starts to fix the lighting on some of the skins, this is definitely going to go up in price for sure. My Statrek M4A4 Desolate Space and Field Tested, I've had in my inventory for quite some time. Back when I got it November 25th, it was worth $18.39. Now it's worth $27.75. I wouldn't say this is necessarily a bad investment to make, but the stickers I have on here are the Furia Antwerp 2022 Hollows. I bought these stickers for $4.10 November 25th as well. As of right now, the time of recording this video, $39 is what they're worth a piece. That's $156.26 for all four stickers on this gun. All those stickers are definitely a good investment because obviously they look 10 times better in CS2 with the new lighting effects. I wouldn't lead you away from investing in the desolate space, but I would keep your eye on the Antwerp 2022 hollows. So I'm showing my Desert Eagle print stream minimal wear because this is the only print stream I own, but honestly, pretty disappointing. CSGO definitely has a better print stream effect than CS2 for some reason, I'm not sure why. This is definitely something to do with the lighting error that Valve said that they're working on for some of the skins. Still definitely a good investment because they'll always hold their value. They'll definitely be spiking back up in price once Valve fixes this error with the lighting effects. Here's the AK-47 Redline and Field Tested for $18.85. Right now it's worth $28.47. Honestly, there hasn't been too much enhanced with this skin, but it's just kind of a good skin to invest in anyway because if you have a good float, and you put some good stickers on there, that's a really good incentive for someone to want to buy it. Here's the Tech 9 Quartz and Factory New. I bought this for 69 cents. At the time of recording this video, it's worth 61 cents, so it's gone down a couple cents. But again, I really just don't think that people know about this skin. Honestly, it's a pretty small risk to take with investing in this skin. I think there's also something that's going to probably go up when the lighting effects get enhanced on some of the skins. Because this is pretty much the same effect. This is pretty much the same effect as a Cobalt course. It just doesn't look as good. This is just my prediction, though. This M4A1S Nitro and Factory New is currently worth $13.26. I don't really think this will go up in price, but mainly I'm just showing it for the... Mainly just showing it for my Virtus Pro Stockholm 2021 hollows on there. I bought these December 4th, 2021 for $1.09 a piece. They're currently now worth $38.86 a piece. 
for a total of $155.43. Again, just another example of make sure you're watching the hollow stickers because these are definitely going to keep going up in price. So that pretty much sums everything up. I'm hoping that these skins actually end up going up in price. Hopefully you guys see what I'm seeing with these skins. I mean, some of them speak for themselves. Like the Desert Eagle Bronze Deco is just a no-brainer. So let me know in the comments what skins you invested in and what you think is going to go up and down in price. Let's have a nice discussion in the comments about it. If you wouldn't mind liking the video as well as subscribing, that would mean a lot. I appreciate all the support on the CS2 videos lately. I'm going to try and keep posting as many as I can. If you want to stay up to date with what I'm doing, make sure you tap into my socials. All of the links are in the description. You can also join my Discord where we are always posting the latest CSGO news. So that's pretty much it for today. Thanks for tapping in, guys. Peace out.